If you would ask a Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh collector what is your favorite Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh card, chances are really really high that you will get the answer SM51 Blue Eyes. If you are a Yu-Gi-Oh collector yourself and you have never heard of the SM51 Blue Eyes from the OCG, you have clicked on the right video and it is really really about time that you get to know this legendary Yu-Gi-Oh card from Japan. And just in case you actually know what the SM51 Blue Eyes is, did you know that there are actually two very very crazy misprints which go for two three times of an regular SM51 Blue Eyes? I'm going to tell you everything you have to know about this one of a kind card guys. Let's not waste any more time, let's go. So first things first, SM51 is a set number and stands for the Japanese set Spell of Mask. This set was released on April 2001 which already makes the set older than our very first set in the TCG which was Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon in March 2002. Fun fact on the side here, the very first OCG booster box which was ever released in the Japanese OCG was Volume 1 and it was already released in February 1999. Yu-Gi-Oh sets in the OCG were much smaller than the TCG variant. This is why a total set of Spell of Mask cards was only 52 cards and if you would collect the master set of all the cards in this set, you would have about 56 cards. So you might now think that this set is also really easy to collect a master set of, which I can already tell you this is not the case. Later in the video I will also tell you a few specific pull ratios for a specific card, so stay tuned for that. So now you ask me, what is so special about Spell of Mask? Let me tell you. First of all, Spell of Mask was the second set in the OCG to ever feature the rarity Ultimate Rare. The very first set to introduce Ultimate Rares was the set prior to Spell of Mask which was called Thousand Eyes Bible. In Thousand Eyes Bible you were actually able to pull an Ultimate Rare Thousand Eyes Sacrifice, a really awesome card and a card that also started my journey as an Ultimate Rare collector. The Ultimate Rare actually brought a very very unique look to the trading card game back then, because Yu-Gi-Oh was the very first one, at least when you compare it to Pokemon, to release this kind of rarity. The easiest thing to compare Ultimate Rares to would maybe be something like a linoleum print, where you literally carved a picture out of a block of linoleum. In the printing factories of Konami the ultimate rares got stamped so that the card is not entirely flat anymore like a normal card but now has indention patterns. In the TCG the very first ultimate rares were released in 2004 in a set called Soul of the Duelist which was basically three and a half years later after Spell of Mask. Okay guys, and now I will tell you why you should really know about Spell of Mask. The reason for that is very simple. Spell of Mask included an ultimate rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. The Blue Eyes White Dragon is Yu-Gi-Oh's cover card like Charizard is for the Pokemon TCG and therefore the Blue Eyes has a very special place in every Yu-Gi-Oh collector's hearts. And I tell you guys, the version in Japanese is very, very beautiful. It is actually breathtaking. Yes I know guys, there is also a TCG variant for Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes, but yeah what can I say, the artwork is just the wrong one. In Japan Konami thought we are going to put the original anime artwork or also referenced as the SDK artwork as an Ultimate Rare in the set Spell of Mask, which was an awesome decision which makes me happy even to this current day. So yeah, just forget the TCG variant. It is not even on a whole different level, it is on a whole different planet. Alright guys, and now I'm going to show you my SM51 Blue Eyes. I hope you enjoy.
there's one thing guys i really want to point out here and it is actually the left top corner where you can see it the most um, the background of the sm51 blue eyes has a little bit of a purple color to it i hope you can see it well here on the camera just keep that in mind and we will come back to this fact later in the video again Alright guys, so how hard was it actually to pull a blue eyes from this Spell of Mars box? Well, compared to the TCG variants, for example the GX boxes, where it was really easy to pull an ultimate rare, it was very very different in the OCG. I really had a hard time back then when I was opening these packs. Whereas you pull on average 1 to 2 ultimate rares in a GX box in the TCG, you actually had to open 3 boxes of an old Japanese set to get one ultimate rare. So the ratios are very very different here. But it gets even harder because let me tell you guys there is not only one ultimate rare in this set, there is actually another one and this would be the masked beast. And of course this makes perfect sense because yeah if you checked out the box artwork and the design it really isn't a surprise that you actually can pull a masked beast in here. And yeah, it got a secret rare printing and also an ultimate rare printing. Check this awesome card out guys. Really, really beautiful cards. And I think the ultimate rare makes it so much more vibrant than the secret rare. But unfortunately guys, this means that we now have two potential ultimate rare hits out of the spell of mask box, which even makes it harder to pull the blue eyes because now the pull ratio to get one blue eyes is actually one out of six boxes of spell of masks and this means also one blue eyes out of 180 booster packs yeah i remember back then that i opened a lot of spell of mask booster packs because yeah who didn't want an ultimate rare blue eyes on the playground i definitely wanted one but i was never lucky enough to pull one myself and yeah i already told you that this set had 52 cards in total so after the fifth or sixth pack you got so many doubles in the set it was very very frustrating and i never saw a blue eyes oh yeah and an interesting side fact for you guys if you would buy a sealed booster box of spell of mask as of january 2023 you would have to deposit about 6k usd from your cash to the vendor because that is how high the market price of a single box is so yeah you can do the simple math here six boxes for 6,000 USD each makes 36,000 USD to pull and blue eyes on average. So if you want to take your chances, go for it. I'm not going to stop you. But honestly, if you wanted to pull your own blue eyes from a pack, just forget it like I did. All right, now you know why this set is so special and loved by the Japanese people, but I promise you it gets even better and even more interesting. Because at release nobody really noticed about this. The very few lucky ones to actually pull an ultimate rare blue eyes were of course the kings of the playground and of the school. Unfortunately it took me several more years to actually acquire a copy of an SM51 blue eyes but it definitely eventually happened to me as well. And yeah, I do not remember the exact date, but I think it was about two or three years later after the release of Spell of Mask that the rumor started to spread that there is actually misprint versions of this legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon in Ultimate Rare. And guys, remember that in the early 2000s, the internet wasn't the same as it is of today. So no Twitter to spread rumors very fast or anything similar. So yeah, in the end it took a really long time for everybody to notice, but the rumor told that there is actually a version of this ultimate rare blue eyes which was even more blue than the regular version. And this really caught my attention guys. I mean imagine this, Konami not only decided to put the SDK art in the box and make an ultimate rare out of it, no somehow they managed to pull off a misprint which was even more blue not any color even more blue on the background isn't that crazy guys it is such a coincidence but it is such an awesome one okay guys so now the moment you have all been waiting for i present you my very own 
Blue Shimmer, Blue Eyes. Let's have a look. So at first you might not even see a clear difference, but the thing to look out for is the background. I told you when we had a look at the regular blue eyes that the top left corner is very very purple on the regular ones. Maybe it is even better if I compare both versions so you can actually see the difference, but I can clearly see a different shade of blue in this blue shimmer blue eyes. And yeah, a really crazy misprint. That is what all the Japanese people were thinking back then. And therefore a price for a Blue Shimmer Blue Eyes is of course way higher than a regular version. We are talking two to three times of a normal version for a Blue Shimmer version. And now guys I have some very up to date price information for you guys from my favorite card shop in Akihabara which would be Card Shop Magi. Let's check the most up to date prices for this legendary card out. Alright guys, have a look at this. On the top left you see the price for a mint copy of a regular blue eyes, which is already astonishing 350,000 yen, which is roughly about 2650 USD. These prices are the prices the shop pays you if you bring them your card. These are not local market prices because you can imagine that the card shops which buys your blue eyes for 2650 USD is not going to sell it for the exact same price, right? In fact, they add about 35% of the price on top and resell that card. For our minty blue eyes that would be way over 3000 USD local market price in Japan in January 2023. Okay guys, if you're curious about all the different prices, just stop the video here, have a look at all of them, because I'm going to continue now with the next sheet. Okay guys, and this next sheet guys is really crazy, because it is showing the prices for a blue shimmer version of the blue eyes. There we go guys, and what did you notice at first glance? Right, Kachop Magi will pay you 1 million yen for a mint blue shimmer SM51 blue eyes, which is roughly 7560 USD. Now add the 35% on top of that and you easily have a $10,000 card. Really crazy prices. Again same thing here, just take your time, pause the video and have a look at all of these crazy prices. Even for pretty bad conditions you can still get pretty big money for this card here in Japan. Okay guys that was some really crazy stuff I just told you about, but wait! There is even more. There's actually one thing I was hiding from all of you guys until yeah, the very end of the video because I'm going to reward everybody who is watching until the end. So yeah, stay tuned for the next interesting fact about this card. So I'm actually thinking that this fact I'm going to tell you right now is not that known outside of Japan. So this is very valuable information for you guys and I think at the same time it will be mind blowing to hear that. Ready guys? Okay. There is actually a second misprint of this already legendary card guys. Can you imagine there is more than just one? Yeah, actually Japanese people consider two categories of this card. The first I have already showed you which is the regular blue shimmer version of this card. So what else could there be that even puts a small cherry on top of that? And instead of talking too much, I will just show it to you right now. What I'm showing you now guys is the comparison between the regular blue eyes and the new version, the second misprint. It is actually called saturated blue shimmer and no words needed here. You guys can very easily tell even from the video footage here what is up with that 
blue eyes. By the way, I'm not making these terms up. I'm just translating these from Japanese to English for you guys. And yeah, look at this difference here. It is so clear. Everybody will notice at first glance. And yeah, this is by far the most blue version I have ever seen guys. And I'm very proud that I own this card. Just have a look at this different shades of blue guys. Let's compare maybe all three of them. And yeah, this is really, really mind blowing, breathtaking. I don't know, this is so crazy to have these cards in my collection. I'm very, very grateful. After all these packs I opened back then and I was never able to pull a blue eyes. Now I have all three versions of this card and this is really, really crazy. And yeah, guys, the saturated blue shimmer blue eyes is clear evidence that the SM51 has misprints, which also have different shades of blue to them. You can only distinguish between these different types of blue eyes by the way they look, basically. There is no clear line like a regular misprint where you have maybe a name shifted or different artwork, different name. It is basically just how blue your card is and the more blue your blue eyes is, of course, the more valuable it is. So guys, literally the chase is on now. Find yourself the most blue blue eyes in whole Japan and show it to me. If you're able to present me a more blue blue eyes than I have here, I would really be mind blown by that. So yeah, try to do that. And yeah, one important thing I have to mention now is that actually the prices Card Shop Magi was showing for the blue shimmer blue eyes, of course, also vary depending on the grade of blue. So if your blue eyes is not that blue, you will get a little less than when it's very blue like the one I just showed you. And this also means that if you already own a copy of this card, be very, very careful to whom you are going to sell this card because you might actually selling it as a bargain to people who do not know about this fact. Okay guys, the last thing I want to quickly talk about is how these misprints actually happened. And honestly, there is no clear answer I can give you about this. Up to this day, nobody really knows how something like this could actually happen. Maybe Konami did a small easter egg for the favorite card of all Yu-Gi-Oh collectors? Well, one theory is that Konami had different printing factories and that actually these different printing factories had different shades of blue when they were printing the card or that actually things were changing because technology was advancing as well, right? So they were like in the middle of a change in the factories and therefore inconsistencies happened. Whatever it is, guys, this will always stay a mystery. We will never really find out unless Konami has an official statement about this card. But yeah, I really highly doubt that after so many years. But yeah, it also adds a lot to this card. And yeah, as I told you, this is a very, very legendary card, guys. And yeah, if you do not own your blue eyes yet, I really advise you to save up for it because it is really a nice piece of history and it can easily be the grail of your collection. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one.